for you guys, FSC Fest Check Speed and Custom Shop. Well, you see my friend Dave right here. Hi, everyone. So, Dave, where are we and what are we doing here? We're in Middleton, a suburb of Madison, for our annual Gilda's Club charity event. Each year, Lee Barr, our treasurer, has done an amazing job putting together some wonderful raffle and auction items to help donate money to Gilda's Club to help fight cancer. We're very honored to be doing this again this year and to have everyone's support. As you pan around, you'll see that cars are already starting to arrive. We'll expect to have around uh, 40, 50, 60 cars here today, and the weather's perfect, so if you have a chance, come to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton off of 14 and join the event. Who knows, maybe you'll win some great raffle items. Thanks for coming out. Alright guys, have Joel right here. He has a 1957 replica Testarossa we're going to talk about here. Yes, yes. This car I acquired now 15 years ago. Motion Products <laughs> had a client that owned it. And as it happens now, this is a, it's called an envelope body. It was built by DK Engineering in England in the mid 80s. They actually built seven of them. What they did was they took a GTE original donor Ferrari, disassembled it, took the running gear, but then they made the chassis and the body, it's aluminum, from scratch, replicating the 57 Testarossa. It's 12 cylinder, like a lot of them, that vintage. So this body is aluminum? It's aluminum. Oh yes. It's all hand hammered. That's a three liter. It's got about 340 horsepower. 3 liter V12. Yes, exactly. Six carb, obviously. It's a spunky little thing, but very drivable. Now, this is a four speed? Five yeah. speed? Four speed. Four speed. That's the original Ferrari GTE um, transmission and here. rear end. It's got a fabulous tube chassis. This is an interesting looking differential. Yeah. Like I say, it's stock. And it's a solid, that's a solid axle too, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ferrari aficionados that some people actually race these cars. But to do that, you'd have to put a roll bar in it. Right. And I'm not about to do that. It's, uh, it's just not something I would race. It looks like a fun, fun thing just to whip around on the street. Oh, it is. It is. Cops love it. <laughs> Joel, appreciate it very much. Thank you. An awesome car. Thank you. A lot. Excellent. All right. <laughs>
has this beautiful 1936 Cadillac behind me. Now, if you know anything about me, I've always been into the domestics, especially Cadillacs, and obviously this car caught my eye. It is a V8 Model 75, which was their limousine chassis, and this car is called a Town Cabriolet. It is a town car, meaning that it's got an open chauffeur's compartment. This tonneau cover can come off. And then it's a full limousine, it's got jump seats, and it's got a division window, and it's got an intercom between the passengers and the, and the driver. Uh, the driver's seat is all leather, and that was traditional because it was more wearable for chauffeurs getting in and out than the wool broadcloth that they would have in the rear seat. And the rear seat has, as you can tell, a beautiful bench seat, a sofa, with an armrest that can go up or down, and then it also has two jump seats for uh, bringing along the servants or the children. The top is all leather, uh, including the tonneau for the chauffeur. And it, they made about nine of these. They were all hand fabricated at the Fleetwood factory. And this is the only one known to remain. If you could open and shut that door again, listen to how that sounds. I'll, I'll explain that to you. It sounds that way because this is a coach build car. It is framed in wood and skinned in metal. That's how they used to build coach work cars. So consequently that door is because the sound is because all of the insulating qualities of the wood framing. And it's all wood on top, wood slats covered with leather. So it's not a metal top. And uh, yeah, that is a very different sounding door. I, yes. couldn't, I couldn't let that one go unnoticed. Yeah. And uh, it was out of all of them that were ordered, for some strange reason, all of the garnish moldings in the back around the windows and the division windows are metal and they're wood grained, they're painted with a wood graining. All of the rest of the cars were ordered with walnut, real walnut garnish moldings. But whoever ordered this car wanted this kind of stuff and of course they would do anything you, you wanted as long as you had the money. Speaking of whatever we wanted, how hard would it be for you to show us what a Cadillac V8 looks like from 36? Let's see if we can do something here. It is ah, very heavy. Okay, that's good. And that's a flathead V8, one carburetor on top. It was a new V8 engine that they developed for the 1936 models. And this engine then went, was used in all of the light tanks in World War II. Okay. Two of these engines, one on each track, with their brand new hydromatic automatic transmissions. And the tanks were driven by a driver with two levers, like that. So that is uh, what a flathead Cadillac V8 looks like. Very simple. And uh, this is the engine they used through 1948, so for 12 years. So you get some use out of her. Oh yeah. I've had it for 17 years. I've been on a couple of tours and to a lot of shows. And it's uh, just a lovely stately car to drive. Oh, I bet. You see this coming.
<laughs> you know, no car video is complete without the police car. And the winning number is Give it to him. It's, it's hard to hold the camera and film it. Hey, run with your wrong, that's all. Good to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Send it! <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor. You just gotta have a sense of humor. All right, guys, this is it for me. Everybody's cleared out of the lot. Had to get you the guys leaving, so that means I'm the last guy here. That's okay, they got a bar and some water and some beer in there, so I'll tell you what, in this heat, that fountain looks real good, don't it? So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, that way you'll catch this video and other videos to follow, because obviously 
we're still pumping them out. We're, we're chasing down car shows, meetups, and other things that I do at my shop. It's summertime, so that's the time to do the video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well. Also, check out a line of merch. You see the shirt right here I'm wearing. The very shirt I gave Damon and Dave from Daily Driven Exotics a few videos back. Check out where to get this shirt and others like it. FSCSpeedShop.com. That's where you get my merch. Also, follow me on Instagram. FSC underscore speed underscore shop. With that being said, I am Steve Festcheck. This is FSC, Festcheck Speed and Custom Shop, Middleton, Wisconsin, at the Ruth Chris Steakhouse. What else can I do for you?